everyone and welcome back. Today is Vlogmas day 13, I think. Yes, 13. And I am currently at the tractor supply. Um, it is already about 5 p.m. Uh, I've spent most of the morning doing work for my internship. So now I'm at the tractor supply. I'm here to pick up pine pellets um, for Luna's litter box, my rabbit. Um, I like to do the pine pellets in her box because it is less likely for her to dig in them than a softer substrate, although she will still dig. Um, they don't stop her completely, but it is preferable. They're also super cheap. Uh, it's like $5 for like a 25 pound bag or something. Um, if you're going to be using pine pellets, please make sure they are kiln dried. Um, I'm here to pick up the dark green bags. I see them over there um, from Tractor Supply. It's like the regular Tractor Supply brand um, and they are kiln dried. It does not say so on the bag, but if you go online and you read the customer questions and the responses from the manufacturer and everything, they are kiln dried, they are safe. So that is what I'm here to pick up. Um, I'm probably gonna buy a couple of bags because this tractor supply is like a 20 minute drive from my apartment and I don't like to make that drive often. So I'm just gonna go in and pick those up and then we will head back home to clean Luna's area. <music> everyone so it is now Wednesday vlogmas day 14 and I'm about to go ahead and open a package for you all um I got this huge package from Binky Bunny like I want to say like two months ago over a month ago I ordered a huge like bunch of stuff um for the rabbits and I just never got around to opening it before Crow passed away um but I thought that it could be really good to go ahead and open it now so that I can get Luna some more stuff to do, some new toys, some new stuff to keep her occupied. I honestly have no idea what I what I ordered because it was so long ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. She is right here behind me. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I got so much. 
So I got this edible hay rack thing. So I thought that I would set this in her litter box or in her area and then I could stuff it full of hay and she could eat hay out of that. I wanted to give her more things to eat hay out of basically. So I have this little rack and then we have a twist. Let me see what kind of twist this is. This is a vine twirl and I think I have two of the vine twirls. And then I have this as well, which is really fun. Actually, this is a vine chain. So this is like a really long chain that she can chew on. And then I have three of the willow rings. I have three of these and then two mini willow balls. And then this is a spring flower fling. So I'm actually really excited about this. So it's this fling toy and it has like I think these are balsa wood blocks and it has like twine and stuff for all the stuff for her to chew on. And I believe it's flavored as well. And then I also have the very berry kebab. So this is also balsa wood that is flavored naturally with different types of berries like blueberry, strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, and cranberry. And then I have a seagrass bowl, which I also thought was just like really cute. And then the last thing, is this little triangle house. So I wanted to get a house that she could sit in and go through, but also eat. I don't have a lot of edible tunnels or houses um, that are like rabbit size. So I went ahead and ordered this. This order, I wanna say total was a little under $100 for all this stuff. Um, it wasn't free shipping, so a large part of that was free shipping. And I did get a ton of toys and some other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and like set this stuff up in her area and see if she's interested in it. I'm not gonna put out everything because I might use some of this stuff for the pigs or I definitely just wanna like space it out and not do it all at once. But I am gonna go ahead and put some of this stuff in her area and see how she likes it. So the good news is that Stardust has started eating her critical care on her own again. Well, for the most part, yeah. Um, she, for the past two days or so, has been eating it from a bowl on her own and I haven't had to syringe feed her anything at all. She was also eating her veggies within like 30 minutes or so versus last week um, within two hours, she couldn't even finish them. So she's actually been better this week, which is really surprising but I'm very, very grateful for it. I'm still taking her to her vet appointment um, tomorrow, but I just wanted to share that she is doing a lot better um, consuming her food. Her weight is also up 40 grams, still not anywhere near where I would like it to be, but definitely a significant improvement. So I'm very glad that she's doing better. Hi, baby. Hi. So this is 
the best Luna has created in her area since I cleaned it yesterday. So I am just going to go ahead and give her her veggies, get this all cleaned up, and then go and take care of all the pigs. It is currently 10.30. I got home from work a little bit ago. So I'm just about to do all the pet stuff, all the cleaning. Um, she is so messy over here. Like it's constantly dirty over here, but I did figure out that Crow must have been the one who was like leaving poops around the house because since he's passed, um, there hasn't been poop like in any area of the living room. There's just been this huge mess here every single night. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her out of the way by giving her some veggies and then get this all cleaned up. <laughs> 